Hello, everyone. Welcome to the weekly M1 Finance Dividend Portfolio Review. Balance on the account is $54,985.77. I am down, and I'll show you, $3,864.78 on the account. I haven't made any money from investing in the stock market <laughs> in my brokerage account. And I'm showing you, I'm very transparent with my numbers. So you see here, net cash flow, that means the money that I have actually put into the account is $58,850.55. So technically, if I had just taken my cash and put it in a high yield savings account, I would have more money now than I do now investing in the stock market. Now, I'm trying to keep my eyes on the prize. You hear investing in the stock market. It's a long-term gain or long-term game. And you have to just keep investing whether the market's up, whether the market is down. But I'm just waiting for the day where I've actually made money. Because right now, I haven't made any money, any money on the stock market. So we'll see. I'm going to keep investing every week and I show you all. So I am following the plan. <laughs> so I just hope there's a big reward at the end um, from all of this. Okay, let's look at the performance for the week. So this past week, there was a pretty significant increase of 1.49% or $798.94. That primarily had to do with the fact that the debt ceiling debacle finally got resolved in the nick of time. So investors just had a lot more confidence. So the market went up significantly, I would say, on Friday. So that's where that gain is from. But again, it's not an overall gain because I just showed you I'm down over $3,000 on this account. But let's just go ahead and, and look at the portfolio. Uh, breakdown, so SCHD went up 1.18% or $352.58. Realty income went up 2.21% or $277.44. VGT went up 1.33% or $119.21. And VTI went up 2.09% or $49.71. So everyone was in the green um, for the week, which is really good. So let's go ahead and look at the activity. So on May 30th, I put in $1,500. Then on the same day, I put in another $200 for a total of $1,700 on May 30th. And I got one buy. It all went to SEHD and I got 24.17 shares of it then on june 1st i deposited 25 dollars, and then again on that same day i deposited another 129 dollars. so i got one buy if you add those two up of 154 dollars all went to schd i got 2.21 shares and then on june 2nd i put in another hundred dollars that all went to SCHD and I got 1.40 shares. So if you're wondering why is all the money going to SCHD, that's because the overall plan for this portfolio is for it to be 90% SCHD and 10% realty income. You can see here where the progress towards that goal so far. So if we look at SCHD, you see it's 55.8% of this portfolio. So still a really, really long way for it to go in terms of becoming the 88%. So that's why probably for at least the rest of this year, all deposits that I make into the account will all get invested in SCHD, which I am 100% okay with and happy with. So that is where we are. I actually want to show you the holdings because I know my last couple of videos I had some questions from folks around VGT and the fact that it's doing well and why am I saying VGT is not a good investment and I am showing you right here. <laughs> well, <laughs> so VGT 
has always been double digit losses for me. Uh, it's just now recently that it's been single digit. Um, I just don't want my portfolio being too focused on a particular sector, especially technology. So yes, want to get into the positive whenever that is. I plan to sell and take all the funds and reinvest it into SEHD. So BGT is down 5.9% or $568 overall. And then we can see the breakdown of the rest of the um, stock slash ETFs. Realty income has not been doing good. My last couple videos, I know I highlighted that. So you see here it's down 10.74%, which is not good. And then SCHD, it's also down 4.6%. But SCHD, so this entire stock market horrible, horrible situation has been down the least of all of my investments. Like it's still down again, but it's always been low. And plus, I love the fact that it's very diversified. It pays a dividend, a quarterly dividend. So I really do believe in SEHD. So that's why I feel good about it, despite it being down. And then Realty Income, I do think it is a solid company. It is an individual stock. That makes me not necessarily the most comfortable. But ultimately, with it just being 10% of my portfolio, I'm okay with that. I might reduce it to five. We'll see. Um, I just want to build up SCHD right now. And just for reference, so you know, um, SCHD, I have 430 shares in it. So I have $32,000 invested in it. And then realty income, we can just take a peek at that. I have 214 shares and I have $14,000 invested in realty income. So just going to keep on plugging along. We can just see the breakdown here. Started the week at $52,287. I put in of my own money, $1,954. So um, I'm continuing to invest and putting in a pretty decent amount of money. And the gain was $744. So that's where I ended for the week. Okay, that's all I have for you. I just wanted to show y'all I'm not being negative. I literally have made no money off of investing in the stock market. But hopefully, hopefully this year or next year, that message will change. And I'll be saying it's something different. I'll be saying the opposite, that I've made a lot of money off of the stock market. Okay, until next time.